Hello and welcome to a video report for the brand new season of the Zwift Racing League. The Zwift Racing League is brought to you each week by WTRL, the World Tactical Racing League. This week's report is on race one for the herd of burning bidets, the brand new team in the EMEA Southwest B1 League, taking on the Neokio All-Nighter course in the start of this new season. The starting roster for the Burning Bidets this week had Tim Powell, Morgan Brewer, Guy DeBell, at Freddie Jones, Alan Richardson, and your narrator Brent Robinson taking on this course this week. And here is a quick look in at what the course had in store. Essentially, the first 16, 17 kilometers are pretty flat, but with four intermediate sprints, four points to contest in the race. Then we would climb up uh, the KOM, points for fastest across that KOM and the fastest through that KOM, back down and a sprint into the finish. So um, obviously early part of the race, good for the sprinter, later part of the race, good for the climbers and um, points at the finish as well. As anyone who has done any racing on Zwift will know, no Zwift race is complete without some type of technical challenges. The first one for the Herd of Burning Bidets this week came when Alan Richardson checked in on his heart rate monitor to find it acting a bit like this. Despite our um, best efforts before the race to come with a bit of a plan, our plans were a little loose depending on who got which power-ups and um, who was feeling good, how fast the pack was moving, all these sorts of things uh, that we'll sort of have to do in the moment of the race. The one thing we did know is that Freddy had a, was a killer sprint. So she had pretty much free reign to go as hard as she wanted. Everybody else could go as hard as they felt comfortable um, being sort of in the race and, uh, you know, hoping to finish as high as they could. Um, keep in mind, this was going to be the run race, so it was like pretty fast. So this now is coming up to the first sprint. Um, and I said to Freddie, let's go. Uh, and took off here. And I think I got a little lucky and caught some people by surprise because the only people that come with me, I think these are two of the French team, French Fusion Frenzy. Or maybe someone from another team comes with me. And uh, we managed to put enough gap and you're gonna see the end of the first sprint right here. So that's me coming in first winning that sprint, my first ever sprint dream win. And you can see Morgan roll through. He came in in ninth across the line, also getting two points for us. And we were so happy with that result that we celebrated like this. Unfortunately for uh, our team, the race, and particularly for Freddie, her son um, was plugging in his computer, which looked something like this, uh, just shortly after this. The result being that uh, Freddy's entire residence lost power. Obviously, uh, power is a bit of an essential component to uh, riding in Zwift and running a trainer. And she dropped out of the race entirely. And that really sucked for Freddy. Um, but we hope to have her back next week, fit and ready to roll. 
Sorry about that, Freddy. So now we are a few kilometers down the road. All of the burning bidets are in the pack. Just off to the left, you'll see Guy DeBell in the pink helmet. To his right with the gray hair is Tim Powell. Just to my left in a black helmet, that's Morgan Brewer. I'm in the center of the screen, the pink helmet. And Alan Richardson has either the brown hat or brown hair. He is just on the left-hand side of this pack. Um, can't quite get him in this shot, but you'll see him come up a bit further on as we get closer to the alley sprint. Um, so good, all five bidets in the bunch as we head towards alley sprint. So alley sprint is a long segment with both fastest through and first across the line. So first thing at this point, I did not know that Freddy's computer had died. Sorry, there's Alan in the black cap. That's what he's wearing. Um, so I did not know Freddy's computer had dropped. So I, I, after winning the sprint, I th thought that, because there's not very far between the end of this alley sprint that's coming up and the next sprint. And so my thought was that I had a chance to banner attack off the front at the end of the sprint. If I could just hold on, maybe come in in like the back of the 10th positions and then go you know, drag me one or two people to work with me all the way up front, maybe some teammates, and we would try and um, banner attack this sprint and go all the way across the front of the sprint. So that was my plan. Um, so you'll see as we come through the banner attack sprint here, I'm kind of in a good position, haven't gone too crazy. I don't think I end up getting any points on this one. I think I come in like 12th, 13th. I think I'm not really lighting it up, but I drop my arrow to get another power up, and now I'm gonna really push this attack um, off the front. You'll see me go through all these guys. Fortunately, nobody comes with me, and my I was too fast for my teammates to like. I I told them I was gonna go, but you know you can't. <laughs> Can't ask people, you know. Nobody was was able to um, go, so I was solo off the front of this, and um, yeah. So I was just going to try and push this attack. Fortunately, I was only ever able to get this attack up to two seconds, so um, I pushed the group back to two seconds behind me. Um, and I need to hold that for the next 900 meters. <laughs> uh, foreshadowing, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, right around this next gate. Uh, kind of felt something like this. think we are. And so with about 500 meters to go before the sprint line, I was caught and I'd burned a pretty big match. All to no avail. Uh, there's Tim again. He's he's held the front group all the way. Good for him. I think it had strung out. You can see Morgan is now two seconds off the back of this group and Alan I think is in a group with him I believe Guy would be in that one as well um, I make a bit of a half push to try and get to the front but I just didn't have legs to go anymore uh, for this sprint so it was more of a uh, hold the front group type of effort at this point frankly um, yep. so the, as I sort of mentioned, the fourth sprint comes relatively quickly. After the third sprint, you'll see we're only about 1.3, 1.4 kilometers. So we come in here. At this point, the race is kind of split basically in half. Like the front 40, we're in this group, and then the other 40, we're in behind. Um, I think just 
Tim and I were still in this front group. Um, I th think Alan, Guy, and, and Morgan had dropped to the back group. I got a drafting boost, so I actually just felt like I had a crack at this sprint, so I um, think I kind of went after it. I think I got some points by the looks of it, um, so that was always nice. And uh, yeah, that's the way we went with this sort of front group of about 30 ish, I think. Tim's group coming through the sprint, I don't think they catch us before the KOM, so there's a group of about 30 that comes together here into sort of this stretch from 12 to 16 some odd kilometers before we start climbing up the KOM. So as I kind of mentioned, I think this is the point where Tim gets broken off. You can see he's about one second behind me, so I was trying to go to the back of this group to try and um, sit there and maybe give him a wheel that he could catch on to, but um, Tim gave me the <laughs> not going to make it. You can see his time goes a bit backwards down this group, and I knew there was another ramp coming up, but I was going to have to go fight to stay in this front group, so I end up pushing it to stay in here. Um, game effort by Tim, and of course all the, the days. This was pretty fast, tough racing across all those sprints. Really strong racers in here. Um, so we're going to go up this ramp, and there's another long section um, before we get to the KOM. I'm going to call this section Brent's Hates Burritos because, oh my god, so many people drop burritos in this section that just made me have to like push and stay on the group that I was ready to seriously murder someone. As you can see, I held my burrito the whole way, so the rest of you jerks can get bent. Here is my Brent Hates Burritos Supercut. Oh look, everybody coasting along. I'm gonna drop a burrito because I'm cool. Oh, look, it's a burrito party. I'm gonna drop a burrito, so uh, look, these other two guys are gonna drop a burrito while these other guys attack out the front so everyone can go chase them while we're all having no draft. Yeah, fun. Good burrito party, guys. Oh, Brent's off the back. Drop a burrito so he's got to pedal harder to stick on. That's fun. Oh, this guy drops a burrito at the front. This guy drops a burrito at the back. Everybody pedal harder. Yay. And finally, KOM burrito. All right, so this is now well into the KOM, maybe about halfway up. You'll see I'm still pretty close to the group, but I'm about to get dropped um, you can tell they're putting out a pretty big surge here like I'm doing like 380 400 to try and stay with the group and especially on this ramp they really um, pull away from me um, my like sort of practical max heart rate is about 170 and I was not looking at that at this time but you'll see as we go along it gets up to about 169 which is pretty much Brent passes out and falls off the bike type of level so um, I think I just burned a match a little too early to be able to keep this pace up um, so being dropped from the KOM or the lead group with the KOM left me with just this other rider as we uh, cruised into the finish we tried to catch the group in front of us but with just the two of us we neither of us had the legs we didn't work too badly together so as we watch the end here we'll just go through a bit of the results um i got 33 total points tim got 16 total points morgan 15 total points 13 at the finish plus two for that first sprint way to go morgan alan finished in a place to get 11 points but his hr monitor um resulted in a half point no problem alan will have you back next week and guy earned us eight points so um really good racing by the whole team overall that left us in 10th place for the series um we're really happy being in that position and uh thanks so much to all my teammates thanks to everyone who is watching this video you can um watch to the end here critique my um highly mediocre sprint finish otherwise uh we will see everybody next week good luck with your races